Hi, today we are having our students show us what to do on the sensory path. Why do we need a sensory path? It gives all of us a chance to have a brain break and get some of those wiggles out. So these children are showing us appropriate ways to use our sensory path. We've got a zigzag where you can either walk along or you can slide along. We have the octagon where you can either spin circles or you can walk the circle. We have the arrows where you can jump facing the arrows. And we have the ladder to help you get some jumps out. The second part of our sensory path has some jumps. It shows either two feet or one foot. Along our wall, students are encouraged to cross over, to cross the midline, and to shuffle. Nice job, guys. 